A snapshot of three racing cars is shown on the diagram. All three cars start the race at the same time, at the same place, and move along a straight track. As they approach the finish line, which car has the lowest average speed? So to answer this question, you have to remember the equation for the average speed of an object is given by the change in your position over the total time of its trip. So in order to have the smallest average speed, you have to have the smallest numerator possible. So if they're traveling along a straight track, say they started at this position here, this was their starting position, this is the finish line here, they both start at the same exact time. So in a certain amount of time, car 3 would only be at a distance of say D at T, car 2 would be at a distance of D2 at the same time T, and car 1 would be at a distance of D3 at the same time T. Of these distances, D is smaller than D2, and D1 is greater than all of these. So we can see that here, car 3 will have, have the smallest average speed because it has gone the smallest distance in the total amount of time. So of the three cars, car 3 would have gone with the lowest average speed for this trip.